Here now with more, the ranking member of the House Oversight Committee, soon to be chairman, James Comer from Kentucky. Thanks so much for joining us, uh, Congressman. Um, I gotta tell you that the, the information that we've seen is stunning. Elon Musk released the information as he promised. It went from Matt Taibbi, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, journalist, and it is a stunning array of content about what was going on behind the scenes. One of the things that stuck out to me, Congressman, was James Baker. James Baker, who was the general counsel there dealing with the Sussman information at the FBI, highly controversial, is now over at Twitter. And you see this array and this volley of, of tweets or um, uh, emails that are going back and forth. They cannot figure out how to justify this type of suppression. So I yeah. guess the question is, what can Congress, what can the Oversight Committee do and where are they going to go next with this? Well, in January, J Jason, when I take your old position as chairman of the House Oversight Committee, I can promise you this, every employee at Twitter who was involved in suppressing the Hunter Biden laptop story will have an opportunity to come before Congress and explain their actions to the American people. This was a huge story. Uh, when we announced the investigation of the Biden family and referenced material from the laptop, many in the mainstream media said, well, this is just a conspiracy theory. The mainstream media is still trying to uh, use the old talking points that the laptop is somehow Russian disinformation. We know from CBS's forensic audit, the laptop is legitimate. And now we know from Elon Musk that there was correspondence between the Biden campaign and the Democrat National Committee to suppress this story. I believe this story would have had a huge impact on the presidential election. We had a very close presidential election. And when you look at what's in the laptop, it's very concerning. There was no evidence ever at any time that the laptop story wasn't legitimate. The New York Post did a great job. I'm glad they're being vindicated. But this story is just beginning, Jason, because we're going to have every single person at Twitter that was involved in this in front of the House Oversight Committee as soon as possible. Well, in one of the tweets uh, Matt Taibbi put out, the very last one he said as he basically cut it off for tonight is that there'll be more information about shadow banning, about suppression, uh, about uh, 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 fake accounts, about all these types of things that I think conservatives and Republicans have been have been saying for so long and yet chastise it every single step of the way. And this really is election interference. When you're talking about public officials who cannot get out information that is and ends up being totally true without any adjudication along the way, at one point, Kaylee McEnany, who now works with Fox News, but at the time was the press secretary for the president of the United States on her personal account, tries to send out this story that it appears in the, in the New York Post, and they shut it off. They wouldn't let it be done. They used tools in their repertoire that they use normally for child pornography to not allow her to share the story. That is election suppression. It is election suppression. And Twitter needs to be held accountable. Thank goodness for Elon Musk. I knew when Elon Musk bought the company that uh, this was going to be a positive thing uh, in the notion of free speech because we knew that the Democrat National Committee was communicating with Twitter. We knew the Biden campaign was communicating with Twitter. That's why in April of this year, we on the House Oversight Committee requested that Twitter uh, preserve all documents and correspondence between Twitter executives and the Democrat National Committee and the Biden campaign with respect to the Hunter Biden laptop story. This story, as I said earlier, Jason, it's only going to continue to grow because of what the contents are. The content show that Joe Biden knew darn well what his family was involved in and they were influence peddling with our adversaries around the world. The fact that the mainstream media has forever tried to say this is Russian disinformation is another black eye for the mainstream media. They're gonna have to accept that they made a huge mistake and they're gonna have to accept the contents of the laptop are very damaging to Joe Biden. I'm glad the truth is out, but I look very forward to hearing from the Twitter executives in front of your old committee, Jason, and, and allowing them to have an opportunity to explain what evidence they had to suppress such an important story days before a major presidential election. Well, Congressman, I look forward to you being chairman and uh, being able to use that subpoena power. Thank you for joining us tonight on Hannity. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.